everybody. So, hello. I'm here with Claire McCabe from Purple Star Design. Yay. And since we can't meet for coffees, we are forced to go for healthy walks. Yay. Which is brilliant. <laughs> and today's been actually, even though it's really freezing and cold, it's actually a really beautiful day, isn't it? And the trees are gorgeous. Let me just give you a little tour. We are behind uh, Buskel Park in mm -hmm. Blaby. Don't fall down that hole. No, there's some holes, so I'm not going <laughs> to fall down it. So Claire, tell us a bit more about your business. Because you are self-employed. You've been self-employed how long? 17 years. 17 years, amazing. Oh, no. um, doing something right. So how, yeah, tell us a bit more. How, what made you kind of set up self-employed? What do you love about it? Uh, I was working as a uh, creative director for a paper company and I'd done that for about probably about 13 years okay and it was a good company to work for because it was always evolving and then we got taken over by a bigger company and then it just sort of like we lost lost some of the so the ethos, relationships sort of, within yeah. the company we still had really good clients like WH Smiths and Tesco's etc but it was falls into some corporate BS which mm. kind of gets a bit tiring it just stops you doing your actual job and I'd stop designing so you because I've been promoted and okay. promoted and, and designing is still your passion isn't it yeah. the creative side yes absolutely so I, th I was at a position where I was working like 12 hour days and I thought well if I did this for myself what would happen <laughs> yeah but it's just you still work 12 hour days they're just not so painful they're not under the eye of somebody else yes so. and whatever you do <coughs> is for your benefit and you still have the freedom to decide what jobs you like and what and when to don't. go for a cold walk yes <laughs> <laughs> i did have to drag her out <laughs> but i said i need it for my sanity we need to get out <laughs> and hopefully by i the think i messaged you Yes, but you sort of said, Do you, are you still up for it? And probably hoping I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> and sent me a bruised toad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I think we'll be very happy. Once we're back home in the warmth, we'll be very happy we came out and uh, yeah, had a bit of a break. Yeah, but yeah absolutely. So. I know Claire is very, very creative and I've seen a lot of her work, which is really, really amazing. Um, what's your latest project you're working on? Are you allowed to tell us? Oh, I'm, I'm working for on a Kickstarter program with Amy, our lovely friend yes. from Ninja HR. Okay. So there's lots of stuff going on there at the moment. And just making sure that all the marketing promotional items are ready to go, the websites are done. So it's all very exciting for Amy and it's it's nice to have clients like that. You're part of her yeah. team. So and that's part of Leicester Business Networking. Yes. You know, you brought her along and we clicked so Thanks for that. <laughs> That's really good. I, I love your cocktail next time. Oh yes. Out. Oh yeah. I'll, I always take a cocktail when I'm not on a detox. <laughs> But uh, that's what we love about um, Leicester Business Networking, don't we? There's so many stories like that where people have just clicked, they get on, um, they set up collaborations and it works really, really well. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm it's glad you've team. got that, uh, that new um, project going. Um, and then I know you're really... Um, Canva is another big one for you, isn't it? So do you want to elaborate on that? I and might see do how... a workshop for Canva at the uh -huh. end of the month but at the moment I'm doing one-to-one -one training for business owners and marketing companies yep. uh, and that's just showing people how to get to grips with Canva once I've designed their branding and how to create good marketing collateral for their business without needing a graphic designer every day yep. but I'm there to support and show them how to get stuck in and then go back in and help if need be. So. I think that's a really good idea actually because I think it's important to have professional branding and that's obviously where Claire can step in and set that all up um, according to, you know, just to match everything, the logo, the, the website. You're, you're doing websites, no, I can't talk now, websites <laughs> as well. Um, but <laughs> then sometimes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but then sometimes it's, it's important to get some posts out um, on a timely basis, isn't it? And you can't constantly go back to a graphic designer necessarily if you want to create something quickly. So having that skill, learning that through well, um, your workshop. the size of the business. Some clients I do that for. And of course, yeah. clients, they like to do that themselves mm. and work 
work off the hoof if you like that's a good point i'll kind of probably was just thinking more about smaller um independent businesses but uh, if you have the size um where you really need nearly a marketing department you could be the outsourced marketing department for Absolutely. them couldn't you yes we do that and that's quite successful i work with content creators and social media managers yep. and so i've got my own little team forming and it's a great way to delegate things that i can do but yep. not not my strongest point so i manage that i project manage it with other freelancers and mm. that's working really well as well and you go to a bigger company as a as a team rather than a single freelancer yes so it's always good i like that and you've got some technical i know lexi for example help, helps you with the technical aspects yes. of the website I think she sees the world in code <laughs> 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 i say can we do this and she'll go mm, yeah okay leave it with me and she usually does bless yes her. so you have got some really really good strong people around you that can help you and yeah. obviously and help your clients and you know until <clears throat> i formulated it into bringing a team together I'd, I'd realised that 17 years of networking, I'd, I'd actually been interviewing <laughs> <laughs> remotely. So Excellent. yeah, it's good. So now we've got the new year, 2021, and uh, it seems to be the same old, same old, really. Like Groundhog Day, nearly, with a this new bit, lockdown. I think, I think it's a bit brighter because we know what we're dealing with. Yeah. And, you know, there is... A bigger light at the end of the tunnel I good I, I like that you see it positive so what have you have you got any special plans made uh, I've got a couple of authors that are writing at the moment okay so I'm waiting for their books to be finished and so that's another part of my business so yeah the... actually so you've got the first is the creative side the marketing then the Canva workshops and of course a really big part of your business where you're really really good is, is the book um, design yeah. Tell us a bit more about that. Ah, so uh, <laughs> somebody will come to me with a Word document and it's their life work. And then I'll turn it into a book and get it published on Amazon. So that's really exciting. That's along with the website, seeing actually something published. Yes. Is, and having a book delivered and they've signed the front saying, thanks for all your help, Claire. And you think, yes. <laughs> that must be extremely satisfying. Well, actually. I grew up learning graphic design just going straight to print so okay. to get a book and I've designed it and helped it help I love that an author's dream come to light yeah and, and hopefully help them sell loads and Claire so a lot of people sort of want to do the DIY way and try it themselves but it's quite difficult isn't it Amazon is a difficult <laughs> platform to do that why do you think they rather should use you and pay a little bit of money than struggling by themselves it's because I've been through the pain I know Amazon is not a friendly supplier. Yeah. You know, you do have to jump through their loops. And being a graphic designer, I've got the technical background. Yeah. But I've also been through the pain of publishing with other clients mm -hmm. before. And they, ch they move the goalposts. But I kind of understand the goalposts. And ultimately, they're there to make money. And we're using them to get books out yeah. to a wider, wider audience than your you'll ever do it on your own website probably depending on your audience obviously yeah. but yeah amazon is a is a beast but <laughs> slightly but you can slay the beast <laughs> 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 i love that yeah no i think that's i've seen some of claire's books that she's helped to design and and you know that it's just amazing they need to look professional you can do home pre, um, self-made printing but then it doesn't look as great and having it look like a proper professional book that you know can get out there and selling it through amazon is still better even though they take the cut you have a much bigger market well there's always options once it's print once it's designed you know i have got authors that have just gone to print and distributed themselves and yeah. then amazon as a backup yes so they are options know, you use it mm. as a tool yeah definitely hey claire i really enjoyed that chat oh uh, tell me about you barbara how are oh, you I getting know. on everybody everybody else i've got 20 seconds because i want to keep it under under 10 minutes so yes Speak i quick <laughs> do you know what one i absolutely love like i mentioned the connections we've made through the leicester business networking so that's sort of my baby for networking getting out there making friends um, my business with utility warehouse is actually going really really well right now because there's so many people 
right now that need to save money or make money um, so we have seen an incredible growth and um, as of today I've just expanded um, in to Hampshire got somebody down there because um, I haven't got any distributors down there do you know anybody in no, Hampshire? it's 10 minutes oh 10 minutes <laughs> oh. Hi. I'm gonna say bye <laughs> but yeah no it's been really really good chatting with you Claire I'm gonna cut the other bits out anyway <laughs> so yeah bye, bye.